What needs to get uprooted out of your schedule? What needs to get planted into your life? And what needs to be rearranged so you can flourish under God? I would say first thing is you need to know him. And so get his word into your life. Read the gospels or even better, write them out. That's what I did when I was single because I knew no one changed human history like the person of Jesus Christ. And so it is to my benefit to know him. And so I wanted to go deep into his word to see what he's like. And I knew scripture says to behold him is to become like him. So get to know him in his word and become more like him. It's fascinating. If you read for 15 minutes a day, did you know you could read a book a month? That's 12 books a year. The average young person in America right now spends nine hours a day looking at a screen. And I'm not gonna shame you for looking at a screen, but I'm just saying to you, what if you harnessed 15 minutes of those nine hours to read? What more could you learn about God? What more could you learn about yourself or what skills of your own could you sharpen or your leadership? Or what more could you learn about the world he made if you harness that time for your personal flourishing? What needs to go in that I can be attentive to his word to know him and be more like him? And then be attentive to his work. Look around the world and say, how do I harness this freedom of mine to create structures so that all living things around me flourish? How do I do what God did? Use my strength and energy so all of life is fully what it can be under God. Did you know that through organizations like Compassion, for $30 a month, you can feed, clothe, and educate a child that's in need? Think about that. You could make that in less than an hour driving an Uber. So drive Uber a couple times a week and sponsor 10 kids, 20, so that whatever else is true of your singleness, you could look and say, I changed the course of history for some young men and women and their families for generations with this free time I had. That's a great way to use your singleness. Or get a group of friends together and say, you know what? There are people groups that don't have the word of God in their own language. Let's pool our resources and fund a translation of the scriptures into their language. And then when it's commissioned and sent to them, let's save up money and go to that country and celebrate with them that they can read the scripture in their own heart language. I have friends who have done that. You go do that and that would be a great way to harness your freedom for the flourishing of life around you. So please don't believe the lie that singleness is just for pursuing distraction until the next stage comes along. You've been given this season as a gift, not to pursue distraction, but an undistracted devotion to the Lord, to know him and be more like him. Thank you.